Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm super pumped. Yes. Are you ready for your 73 questions? Yes. Let's do it. Awesome. First off, who are you? Hi, everybody. My name is Christopher Aguirre. I'm a third year double major in dance and communications, and I intend on minoring in music industry here at UCLA. Nice. Chris, where are you from? I'm from Bourbon, California, so it's about like a 25 to 30 minute drive. Okay, so pretty close. Yeah. Where are we right now? We're currently at the Nut Plaza, and funny enough, if you like pan over this way really quick, Ooh. that's Dogwood, and I actually met my best friend, and she used to live there freshman year. Oh my gosh, seriously? That is so cute. Shout out Kayla. <laughs> so, Chris, why did you choose UCLA? So I chose UCLA because unlike the other majors, you have to audition uh, for the dance major, and I just remember driving up for the first time, viewing the campus and being like, wow, like, I have to go here. The scenery was beautiful. The people I met just had like positive mindsets and were just super ambitious. And two, like who wouldn't? Like, yeah. it's a number one public university. Yeah, so are you happy you chose UCLA? I'm honestly grateful. I truly found myself here and I never expected myself to be this happy. And I really just love it here. It's That's everything. so great to hear. Okay, so you said you're a dance and communications major. So let's start off with a dance major. How do you like it? I honestly love it. I didn't really know what to expect uh, when entering the major, but once I entered Kaufman, I knew it was home. I found like my not freshy dance majors, and we're just a big family full of love and, and just support one another. Aw, what made you choose a dance major? So I'm a first generation student here at UCLA, and a lot of my family, like they always told me like, you need to be a doctor to be successful. A lot of careers that have point A and point B, but I always knew that I wanted to pursue something in the creative side. So um, I said F it and applied as a dance major. Yes. So what are your classes like as a dance major? Like, are you dancing 24 seven or do you write papers, take exams? I would say it's an equal balance of both, um, but it depends on each quarter. I would say for the most part, we do explore a lot of our artistry and learn different ways to analyze different dance forms. But for the most part, um, I would say equal balance. My favorite classes are hip hop and West African. Nice. I am not a dancer, but I would love to learn one day. But <laughs> now onto your comm major. What made you choose a double major in communications? I'm a huge geek when it comes to mass media, public relations, and marketing. So it was a no-brainer once I got into UCLA. And what better way to like integrate both my dance career and my marketing career um, since I do use social media to market my own brand. That's awesome. So what classes are you taking this quarter? Or I guess this past quarter since we're on winter break. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I currently take six courses right now. Four oh my of which gosh. are dance, two of which are calm. And if you're planning on double majoring, you're just gonna take more classes to uh, make up for like what your second major is offering. Gotcha. What are some of your favorite calm classes you've taken? My favorite calm course definitely has to be calm one, which is a class catered to public speaking. I love the class because each class you learn something new. Um, and you give speeches on anything. So I gave speeches on Beyonce, how to go viral on TikTok, and just any topics that you would never think of. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So you said you're interested in pursuing a minor in music industry. Tell us more about that. Yes, yeah, so I'm super interested. Um, and I am, I do partake in the entertainment industry. So I've had a lot of good and bad experiences. And I just really want to minor in that to learn more about the marketing and sales aspect, learn about how to like fully promote myself and work with real life practitioners who work in real life projects. Um, wow. Yeah. So with all of that, do you ever feel like overwhelmed with your double majors and that minor? So, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I personally don't. I feel like I get more overwhelmed when I have to start taking care of everything that I have to do. So my academics, my extracurriculars, everything I do outside of school. So it just all like gets overwhelming once it's like the full play. Gotcha. So do you know what you want to pursue post-grad? Yes, so I do want to be a marketing director for a music label, just because I'm a huge music fanatic. I also want to be a successful dancer in the entertainment industry, which I'm currently in right now. And third, I want to pursue the entrepreneur route and just be like, start something from the ground up. So my own studio, my own brand, and go that route as well. Oh, very cool. Okay, so back to academics. Um, what's your average class size? So usually, I would say like around 20. So all my classes usually feel like very intimate and just very like, it feels like a one-on-one -on -one with the professor. Wow, that's a lot smaller than my class yes. size. <laughs> um, what's a stereotype about UCLA students that holds true? A stereotype, definitely that we all work hard and play hard and we're all super ambitious. I know it's super cheesy to say, but everyone I met here is super ambitious and just has their priorities straight and know what they want to do in life. I mean, hey, that's great to hear. What about a stereotype that doesn't hold true? Something, I came into UCLA thinking that all I, all I was going to do was study. And while that is true sometimes, we are humans. So like a lot of the students here do know when to like take time off and just do things for themselves and just hang out with friends and take the stress away. Awesome. So UCLA is on the quarter system. How's that? 
Honestly, I love it because I get bored easily. So I think it's okay, okay. the perfect amount of time. It goes by really quick. Yeah. And it's just everything just stays super fresh and super intriguing each quarter. Okay, well, that's a different opinion than I've heard so far. So that's great to hear. If you had to choose a song to describe your college experience, what song would it be? Shocker, but UCLA by R RL Grime. A Only popular answer. Whenever, yeah, literally. Whenever I listen to that song, I just immediately get flashbacks of my college experiences and just all the amazing times that I've had here at UCLA. Oh, I can imagine UCLA has a lot of clubs and organizations. So what are you involved in? So aside from academics, I am involved in a lot of things here on campus. I am part of the Undergraduate Communication Association, the Pediatric AIDS Coalition, Culture Affairs Commissions, uh, Hip Hop Congress, and lastly, the UCLA Housing Media Team. Oh my gosh, you're involved in so much. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to expand a little bit about your involvements? Yes, so I don't want to waste your time by explaining each like, <laughs> yeah. organization and club, but I will just break down UCLA Housing Media Team since we are on the Hill. Basically, our job on the media team is basically to be the bridge between students and residential life using uh, pop and UCLA culture. And we just curate a lot of cool like, things. So if you want to follow UCLA Housing on Instagram, you can stay updated on things happening on the Hill or on campus. Yes, love to see it. Yeah, most probably. <laughs> so speaking of the dorms, did you live in the dorms? So I did live in dorms for the first years of my uh, college. Nice. Which dorms did you live in? I lived in Deneb Holly, Sprout Cove, Hedrick Summit, Sunset Village, and the Westwood Palm Apartments. Oh my gosh, you lived in so many. <laughs> yes. How was your dorming experience? Honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world. I honestly loved it. I loved all my roommates and there's nothing that I would change at all for sure. That's awesome. Did you know your roommates beforehand or did you go random? So I consider myself lucky and yes. at the lottery system and I actually like my best friends till this day have been people that I met um, from the lottery system so I would say I hold that statement to be true I am lucky and I had really amazing experiences with the roommate situation that's awesome to hear how many people from your high school ended up coming to UCLA I would say like a good handful like maybe like 10 to 20 or more to be honest oh, um, nice. our school is literally like in LA so I feel like UCLA was like an a no-brainer for anybody living in LA. Yeah. And it's really cool to see them around campus just because we've seen each other when we were small and now we get to see each other when we're like older and we know what we want to do. So it's like perfect. Aw, full circle moment. Yes. <laughs> How did you feel on move-in day? Very overwhelming. Actually, like we drove across all this, everything that you're seeing right now. Yeah. And I just remember being so like elated and just being surrounded by freshmen, super excited to start a new chapter in their life. Um, I, I am a first generation student, so Seeing the faces on my mom and grandma's and aunt's face just melted my heart, so it was super amazing. That's great to hear. What's a dorm room essential you recommend to all incoming students? I would definitely say LED or fairy lights because Ooh. it just sets the vibe, makes it very roomy, and it's a cool thing when you walk in and you see the lights. Definitely. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how are the dining halls here? I mean, we are number one in the nation for dining, so I would say a thousand. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's your favorite dining hall? My favorite, which I might get dragged on by the UCLA students, but definitely Cobalt, which is going to be over here. We'll walk past it. Ooh, yes. I mean, they recently remodeled, right? Yes, Epicuria, my bad. <laughs> favorite thing you've eaten in the dining halls? Okay, everybody can agree with me on this, but the omelets here are superior. They're just mm -hmm. so bomb, and I would have them every Sunday morning. Um, it was amazing. Nice. What about least favorite? I don't really have a least favorite. I feel like I'm such a foodie and I eat anything, so I think it was perfect. Uh, no complaints here. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> have you ever seen a celebrity on campus? I've seen several, like Rico Nasty, Addison Rae, Justin oh Bieber. Oh my gosh. And a lot of celebrities just walk on cam campus casually, like The Weeknd, Billie Eilish. And I mean, who wouldn't? It's such a beautiful campus. Yeah, you know, casual. Casual. <laughs> casual stroll. What's your go-to study spot on campus? So my go-to study spot on campus definitely has to be Kirkhoff Patio or Kaufman. Nice. How many hours do you study a day? I usually study two to three hours throughout the day. So not consecutively, but throughout the day. <laughs> nice. What about how many hours of sleep do you get on a typical day? So this is the issue. I am an early bird and I'm a night owl. So oh. I usually get around like four to five hours of sleep. It's so bad, but I'm working on it. <laughs> oh no, Chris. <laughs> I know, super bad. <laughs> so moving on to social life, what's that like here? Super active. I would say like anywhere you go, like you'll see like how active it is just because everyone's just like talking to each other and socializing. Nice. Is there a Greek life at UCLA? Yes, there is a Greek life here at UCLA. Are you in a frat? Yes, I am. I'm Beta Theta Pi and I'm currently the vice president for the fraternity. Nice. So do you think students need to be in Greek life to be part of the social scene? I wouldn't say need, but it's definitely a good way to like meet people, establish relationships and create lifelong memories. For context, I wasn't in Greek life my freshman year and still got the full social experience. 
Nice, nice. How often do students go out? So we have this thing called Thirsty Thursday. So considering that, I would say maybe like once or twice a week. What's your typical outfit for going out? So typically there's theme. So I'll usually go with whatever the theme is. An example would be like white lies. You just wear like a white shirt and have like white lies on it. Oh my but gosh. But I'm usually, I usually go fitted for sure. Ooh, that was a close one. Thank you. <laughs> so speaking of outfits, what's your typical outfit for going to class? For going to class, I do, I would consider myself like more on the extra side. I just like to look well. So I'll have like, you can catch me in jeans, really nice shoes, a minimalistic shirt, and a nice vintage jacket with jewelry, and yeah, just good vibes. <laughs> nice, nice. What's your best advice for meeting new people? So the best advice for meeting new people would definitely be like getting involved around campus. I feel that's the most productive way to meet people who have the same interests as you, or you can also meet different people that are different from you. So it's really cool to like, just see like what UCLA has to offer in that sense. Great. UCLA is in Westwood. How do you like the area? I love it. I have already planned like how I'm gonna live around this area when I'm older. Aww. What's the best late night spot in Westwood to eat at after a night out? Definitely Fat Sal's or In-N-Out because when they're open late at night, it just hits different. <laughs> nice. Well, speaking of food, we're about to pass by your favorite dining hall. Epicuria. Yes. <laughs> what do you like to do on the weekends? On the weekends, I like, I try to relax, but I'm usually busy. So I like creating content, going thrifting, uh, like on Melrose with friends, going to the beach, having picnics on uh, Jan Steps. It's LA, so you can do a lot of things here. Yeah. <laughs> What's your best tip for juggling social life with school? Okay, you might think I'm weird for this, but Google Calendar, that has saved my life because you can visually see all your responsibilities. So any gaps that I have, I would just fill that in with socials. Um, but I would definitely say like, you know yourself better than anybody. So um, if you need that social break, like definitely go out and like talk to people and get your mind off like school. <laughs> 100%. UCLA is a D1 school. How are the sports games? Ooh, they're so fun because us Bruins, we have so much pride. Like we all wear like blue, yellow, and the games are just so fun. And um, all the alumni come out, all the parents come out. So it just, it's a great time to like be a Bruin for sure. Aww. <laughs> What's your favorite UCLA sport to watch? I feel like football games and basketball games and volleyball games for me are like the best for sure. So what's your favorite UCLA tradition? So my favorite UCLA tradition definitely has to be the undie run, which happens on a Wednesday during finals week every quarter. Basically, students meet out in the corner of Strathmore and Gailey in their underwear and we just run under the bridge and run around campus. And it's such a great event to see everybody just say F finals for sure. <laughs> yeah, sounds fun, but also freezing. Yes, definitely. Okay, so since there are so many students, are you able to usually get all the classes that you want to take during enrollment? Typically, yes, but sometimes enrollment appointments like can really screw you up. So I would say like, yes. Is UCLA diverse? So for, based on my experience, I would say yes, because I put myself in social settings that expose me to different cultures, identities, races, ethnicities, and even like career paths. So I would say from my experience, yes. That's good to hear. Do students usually graduate on time? Yes, so actually 93% of undergraduates um, graduate within 12 quarters or less. Oh, nice. Chris coming in with those stats. Yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so do students usually get a job offer right after college? Yeah, so based on the UCLA Career Center 2015 um, Final Destination Survey, about 33% of undergraduates receive a job offer within six months of graduating. That's awesome. Does UCLA have any resources for the job hunting process? Yes, yeah, so you can visit www.alumni.ucla.edu and they have a lot of advice videos for job hunting and a lot of hyperlinks that can direct you to exact job descriptions that match you and your career path. So definitely That's check great. that out. Awesome. So, who's your favorite UCLA alum? So not to be biased, but she is my favorite singer, and that's Shakira, for sure. Yes! Tips don't lie. <laughs> How often do you see the president, or I guess, chancellor of UCLA? So he does a great effort in trying to meet with students, so um, I have met him, I have a photo with him, you can put it up here if you <laughs> want to. Um, and he's super sweet. On the first day of school, he like stands on, next to the bear at Bruin Walk and just gives a handshake to every student and wishes them a good luck on the first day. Aww. Is your school academically competitive or do you help each other out? I would say it's like competitive, but like we're not stingy either. Like we do look out for one another. So from my experience, a lot of the students like created like group chats or left reviews on Bruin Walk, which is a website where you can rate professors and um, courses, kind of like a, like a warning for students. And yeah, they have like study sessions. So I think it's super supportive here at UCLA. That's definitely good to know. So what's something you wish you had known before applying to UCLA? Okay, I wish I knew the, how bad the parking was here in Westwood because it's Oof. so bad. Like everybody here on campus can agree with me on that. 
And two, I would just say to just really check uh, your major and do your research because each major differs from your school. What's something that surprised you the most about UCLA? I was really surprised by how many organizations there are on campus and how many people attend UCLA. I feel like every time I walk on campus, I see a new face for sure. Nice. So Chris, why do you think UCLA chose you? I mean, who wouldn't choose me? Yeah. Kidding, no, no. Um, I feel like UCLA chose me because I'm super optimistic. I'm very outgoing and I'm ambitious. Um, I don't really talk to talk. I show like my hard work through um, action. So definitely like in my high school, I did a lot of community service and I just really showed what it is to be a Bruin. So I, would, I definitely say I have that Bruin pride for sure. Do you think everyone watching this video should apply to UCLA? If you're watching this and you're looking for a sign to apply, this is your sign to apply to UCLA. Get off this video, go to the Common Core app and fill out your application because you need, to, you need to be a Bruin for sure. Yes, well speaking of last question, any tips for high school students applying to college right now? As cliche as it sounds, I would say be yourself. I've talked to the board, I've talked to professors who handle these admissions and they always told me they're looking for an authentic person. So literally just be yourself. Um, some tips that I, that I can give you to help you would be uh, getting involved on campus. How are you making a difference in your like surroundings and environment? So just really choose things that are, are really gonna make you stand out. Don't compare yourself to other people and just know that you're like the best version of yourself. So yes, just be you and you totally got this. I'm rooting for you. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. See Bye. you. Bye.